All right, first boot of the Wolfenose remix. Ann and Baby taking an old image. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure if that one, if the old one was Raspberry Pi 4.4 or not, whether it worked for the Raspberry. I've so been so long, uh, so don't quote me on that. It's running the SNES Classic Ruckage theme on here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what version is on here really quick. But, uh, you know, he took an already really cool image. Let me just make sure my sound's not too up. That's cool. He took a really cool image, which is an arcade-only image where Wolf and O's, um, went through the whole thing and had it running really good. All right, this is uh, all updated. Cool. So this is going to work for the Raspberry Pi 3B and B+. And as I mentioned, it's an arcade-only image, so it's rocking 2,346 arcade games. Now, this is a lot of people like this because you know you have your SNES Classic, you have, or you're a retro game collector, so you already have all the consoles, but you don't have maybe a Neo Geo harder to get, or you don't have all these main arcade cabinets. So emulation is definitely the way to go. This is a 64 gigabyte image. You might be saying like, "Wow, that's kind of big for arcade games." But it's going to have video snaps, bezels, bells and whistles. So there's some extra data in there that you're going to be using. But, um, you know, it's looking really sweet. The file size is 59.4 gigabytes. I have this on a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte, and uh, it's looking good. Again, this is the Wolf and Nose remix. Uh, Ann and Baby just re-released it not too long ago. And uh, basically, he took the Wolf and Nose image. He found some games that weren't quite working, updated those. And then he added some Sega arcade games that were not on there before. So let's just go ahead and have a look here. And I think there's video snaps here as well. Yeah, there you go. So you get a picture and then a video snap. Picture and then video snap. So this is something Wolf and Nose did too, is he went through and just made sure there's all this artwork. Because artwork is harder to find for arcade. It's just these ROM packs out there. You know, the arcade ROM packs are not nearly as nice as you know the NES SNES ROM packs packs which are just you know they're all over the place and people have reworked them and made them really really nice so let's just do a, a there's 2000 of these games so I'm just gonna do a scroll here because I think a lot of people are gonna want to know what kind of arcade games are on here so let's just go ahead and go through here and uh, as I was mentioning it should work for all those Raspberry Pis out there the 3B and 3B plus um, as far as overclocking, you know, the 3B Plus does have a little bit more processing power, so that might make some of these games, especially some of the newer ones, run a little bit better, and then you can overclock a little more if that's what you choose. Um, a lot of people are probably going to put these, this image potentially in a, you know, an arcade one up or in a bar top or something like that. I don't blame you. It's a really good idea. You can also change out the theme if you want. Um, easy to do. Download more themes. And I'm going to show you in a moment, but you'll also notice that there's a lot of um, scripts in this image. So there's going to be a lot of customizability. Uh, if you want to expand it, you want to you know change the themes out, um, you know controller resets, things like that. There are some uh, really easy ways to change all that out. That so it's very user friendly in those regards. <laughs>
Almost at the end yet here. So you got the verse games for the Nintendo too. You got the Sega games. Um, live. I honestly couldn't tell you what's missing here so far. It's looking really good. You got some really good classics in here. You got a couple games that would uh, benefit from having a trackball. By the way, you can get a trackball to work on the Raspberry Pi. There's USB ones out there. Um, they're not plug and play though. They do require you know some customization, but. You can definitely get them to work, and there are some on here. Same with a light gun. Um, I haven't seen a ton of light gun games on this image, but um, there are some out there, and um, there are some light guns that do work. The Dolphin Bar, and then the is it the Aim Track? I think it's called uh, would be the other one. It's a little more expensive, but I've heard they're really cool. And then Neo Geo One Thirty Seven, and then as far as Daphne, you got three games as well. Um, you got last played favorites all games, so you can easily do that. They got collections here, so he's got it sorted by the uh, makers. You got shoot 'em ups if you want to do shoot 'em up. You want to play Sega game, Pac Man, Nintendo related game. Mostly going to be verse games on here. Uh, got to give a shout out to Jablinski Games. You know, as I'm reviewing this image, I just saw his video, and I just really like that he's giving the retro gaming community the love it deserves. So, um, shout out to Jablinski. I love seeing all the original stuff, but uh, if you watch his last video, um, Friday the seventh or so of February, he his his little uh, arcade cocktail arcade is an emulator. <laughs> you can see him look at all the all the ROMs on his uh, on the device. Um, okay, let's go ahead and I mean, there's just so many games to pick. Let's try this one. We'll just pick a random game, just to make sure it works. You do have loading screens as well. So it's pretty cool image as far as you know. It's got all the customization in there. So it looks like you have a main bezel. So this does not have the bezel project installed on it. Oh, there's Neo Geo. Okay, I'm just going to select down and do a non Neo Geo game. So the Neo Geo games are um, bundled up in here as well. I love Excite Bike. Let's go ahead and check this out really quick so far I'm loving it shout out to Wolf and O's he really did the heavy lifting here and uh, you know I talked to him not too long ago and he thinks it's cool that people are you know continuing the the build out and uh, you know he gave Wolf and uh, Ann and baby gave Wolf and O's a uh, shout out which is cool rolls they weren't the regular Nintendo controls Yeah, buddy. Wow, I got first with that. Okay, not bad. Okay, so that works. Good. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, so Also, I haven't found any mature games yet. That last one just reminded me of, you know, uh, is there uh do you have to be cautious? I'm not entirely sure. I have not seen anything yet, but you saw how fast I... Uh, I was browsing through those games, so I can't guarantee anything. But um, it didn't seem like he this image has, and you know the original Wolf of Nose, give him credit. Oh, so there is a there is the bezel project. There is some bezels going to be on here, so that's cool. Just looks like they're not all. So far, controls are all hooked up well. It looks beautiful. I mean, have a look for yourself. Are those good? The red are the red things good? okay. Let's get some P over here. Some power up. I like the scarecrow. Um 
But uh, there's not a lot of, um, like, typically on these older images, especially when you're talking arcade games, you have, like, 20 versions of Mahjong, you know. Um, but this one still has a lot of great puzzle games on it, like Bust a Move and Tetris and all that other good stuff. Whoa, how come I can't kill this guy? I will easily defeat you all by myself. And then he, it's funny, he's like, I'm going to defeat you all by myself. By the way, do you see my minions over here? My tanks? Whoa, that was a tough one. It's kind of tough when he gets this close. There you go, back up. All right, that's working good. So, if you're watching earlier, Bezel Project is on here. It's just not for every single game. Like this game, no bezel. Or it has a bezel, but it's not the game specific. And this game would benefit from a nice vertical bezel. The other thing I really like about images like this is. Um, Oh, in this game, you can hold down your button a little bit. Not the whole time, but... The other thing I like about images like this is I didn't... I was not... I did not grow up with a ton of arcade games. You know, it's whatever the pizzeria, laundromat, etc. golf course had. Did not go to a lot of uh, games. By the way, your uh, right trigger on your Xbox 360 controller is going to be the one that opens your option menu there, like that. That's where you can change your controls, same some of the, the how you want to insert tokens, things like that. Oh, and if you're new to the RetroPie, you can, um, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. If you're new to RetroPie, you usually hit select to insert tokens, and then it'll be start select to leave, uh, to leave your, um, to leave the game, to exit a game. To shut down, you just hit start on your controller in the main menu, and then you can go and uh, quit from there. It's really easy. It's running really good. Ooh. Oh, she blocked that one. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, I got a little too excited there. She really robbed me of that one. I kind of feel like I have to have some redemption here. Wow, she's on to me now. Oh, come on. Okay, um, no explanations. So there you have it, Ann and Baby, 64 gigabyte arcade only, Wolf of Nose remix, bringing it at us. I got nothing bad to say, A plus all around. I'm digging this theme, I'm digging all the add-ons, like if you go to config over here, look at this, you got the jukebox, you got the bezels, you got 
uh, launching screens, which he has, the little things. You have Easy Hacks Toolkit. You have the Bezel Project. You got background music, although I don't, I don't think it's enabled right now, but you can enable it very easily. GPO shutdown utility. Look at that. Bells and whistles. Looking all good. Um, and then you got your collections, and then you got your what's in his favorites? Okay. And this is something we haven't checked out yet, but some of his favorite games. And I would have to agree with a lot of these. Look at all these classics. If this doesn't make you nostalgic. Get off my channel. No. But these are <laughs> really good, good games here. A lot of great stuff. Did I move over? Last played arcade. Oh, I did. Sorry. Favorites. Okay. Oh, love the metal slugs. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, can highly recommend that. Missile Command, NBA Jam, OutRun, classic. Rampage, Shinobi, really good stuff here. Yeah, if you're new to the arcades, you know, see most of these I've played. Okay, and can vouch for some good times, good times to be had. Um, so, continuing, A, A plus work. Really awesome. Shout out to Wolf and Nose. Shout out to Ruckage for the theme. Um, shout out to Ann and Baby. Everything's looking good. I can highly recommend this. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch up on the next one.